yesterday we talked about the Yellow Emperor and how he was just a legend and that his wife had discovered silk. Today we are going to find out more about that as we read a story about Lazy. One day, the Empress Lei Zhu sat in her garden beneath the mulberry trees. Outside the palace walls, she could hear the noises of trading caravans, the sound of camel hooves on stone, and the cries of street merchants selling candy, jewelry, and tea. But Lei Zhu's walled garden was quiet and peaceful. The breeze moved the leaves of the mulberry tree above her. Min Lei, she called to her maid, bring my lunch out here. I will eat in the garden today. Soon, Min Lei brought out the Empress's favorite meal. Turtle meat with garlic and ginger, candied fruit, rice, and a pot of steaming, fragrant tea. Lei Zhu breathed in the rich smell of tea as she poured it into her cup. She lifted the cup to her mouth. Something splashed into it, right in front of her nose. She looked down into her cup. There, floating in the hot water, was something small and round and white. She glanced up into the branches of the mulberry tree. Hundreds of little white cocoons were dangling just over her head. The cocoons of the silkworm. Inside the cocoons, the silkworms were changing into moths. Soon, they would chew through their cocoons and fly away. Look, Min Lei, she said, a silkworm cocoon fell right into my tea. Let me get you a fresh cup, cup Empress Lei Zhu, the maid offered. Wait, Lei Zhu said. She carefully lifted the cocoon out of her cup. It seemed to be made from a thin, bright thread wrapped a hundred thousand times around the silkworm within. The hot water had begun to unravel. Lazu pulled gently at the end of the thread and drew it out longer and longer. She rose from her seat and walked through the garden, trailing the thread behind her. It was so long that she circled the garden with it a dozen times. The thread was so light that it floated on the wind and it shone in the sun like melting silver. If only I could weave this into cloth, Lazu marveled. What a robe I could make for my husband, the emperor. But it is too thin to weave, Min Lei said. Pick me another cocoon, Min Lei, the empress said. We will unravel another thread. All afternoon, the empress and her maid unraveled the fine, shining threads from the silkworm cocoons. They twisted the threads together until they were as thick as a thread of cotton. And then... The empress called her dressmaker. Can you weave a cloth from these threads? She asked. I have never seen threads like these, the dressmaker exclaimed. They are as fine as hairs, but as soft as the petal of a flower. She took the threads away and wove them into a cloth that shone like water in the sunshine. And from that cloth, Lezu made a robe for her husband, the emperor. When he saw it, he gasped with wonder. From now on, he said, we will call this silk. The secret of making this wonderful cloth must never leave the palace. Only the royal family can know this treasure was yielded by the silkworm cocoons. So from then on, Lei Zhu and her court made the wonderful cloth called silk. They fed the silkworms on trays of mulberry leaves, waited until the worms wove their cocoons, and then carefully unraveled the cocoons for their precious threads of silk. Soon, China became famous for its silk, the cloth that no one else in the world knew how to make.